Okay, the next thing that we need to configure is Kibana. And the Kibana configuration is going to be fairly simple. We really don't need to set any environment properties. All we got to do is expose port 5601 and uh, reference this image. So I am actually going to copy this over right now. So I'm copying that to my clipboard. And then I'm going to toggle over to the command line. And we will use cube control to create the necessary deployment and service descriptor. So let's go ahead and create the deployment file with cube control. So create deployment Kibana image equals, and I'm going to paste that. So I get that whole Docker elastic Kibana and the uh, reference to the proper tag, which is uh, 7.12.1. That's a, the most current release at the time of recording. Dry run equals client minus O, oh, sorry, YAML output. And we are going to direct that to file uh, deployment, like so. And there's nothing else for us to configure as far as the deployment. It didn't have any environment properties to set, so we can go ahead and use cube control to deploy that. Apply minus F. And we can see that uh, deployment's been accepted, and uh, we are spooling up a container for that in the background right now. And now what we want to do is create the service for it. So let's go ahead and do... And the service this time we want to do node port. So we'll map that node port 5601 to localhost port using Kubernetes node port capability. So we'll say node port. And this will allow us to get to the, the Kibana console uh, using that port from our, our browser on our local machine. So let's see your node port, Kibana, TCP equals 5601. Dry run equals client. Minus O for output to YAML. Come on a service YAML. And then let's just go ahead and apply that. Yeah, let's clear our screen. We're going to go ahead and do it. Get all. And we can see that. Let's see here. We got the Kibana service node port. And we see that Kubernetes is mapped 5601 to host uh, 30518. So if I went into my browser right now and went to localhost port 30518, I would see the Kibana console. And that Kibana console would be running from this container, the pod and Kibana. So that uh, looks like it is up and running properly. So everything uh, appears to be happy with all of our services now. Let me come back over to IntelliJ. And in this, we added in two files. Both of them were created from the command line. The first one was Kibana deployment. We used cube control to complete this. We didn't have to do any edits to this file. And then also with the Kibana service, that was also created from the command line. And again, no edits to that file. Uh, we've uh, already deployed those two Kubernetes.